Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about IC50 and IC90 values. Okay. So we learn in this video how to find IC50 and IC90 values using Excel. So before we start, we first need to know what is IC50 and IC90 values. Okay. So IC50 here the IC means inhibition concentration. Okay. So inhibition concentration 50 and inhibition concentration 90. So what is IC50? It is the inhibition concentration at which 50% of the cells are getting inhibited. Okay. So that is called IC50. The concentration at which 50% of the total cells are getting inhibited, either bacterial or mammalian, that we will call IC50. Okay. Similarly, IC90 is the concentration at which 90% of the cells are getting inhibited. Okay. So, when we talk about inhibition, we talk about some drug that has been treated upon cells, either bacterial cells or cancer cells. Okay. So, coming to this example, here we can see, we have taken a concentration. This is the concentration of the drugs. Okay. And this is the percentage cell inhibition of drug A. So, IC50 and IC90 values are calculated on percentage cell inhibition. So, this percentage cell inhibition has been already covered in our previous video. If you have not watched it, the link is in the description. You can check it out from there. Okay. So, this percentage cell inhibition which we have got, this is of drug A. Okay. Similarly, we have taken another drug that is drug B. And this is the percentage cell inhibition of drug B. Okay. So, we will calculate the IC50 and IC90 values of both drug A and drug B. Okay. So, let us start. So, first what we need to do is we select these two columns. Concentration and inhibition of drug A. Then we go to this insert menu. Then go to scatter plot. And select the scatter with smooth lines and markers. Okay, select this one. So here we have got a graph. Okay, so now what you do, you go to this add chart elements. Go to the thread line. Then to more options. Okay, so here in more options, you see, there's a thread line option. It's selected in linear. Okay, now come to the bottom of the chart. Okay, so here you can see there's a display equation on chart, display R squared value on chart. Okay, so select these two, display equation on chart and display R squared value on chart. So here you can see that the equation has already come to our graph okay it's already mentioned in our graph after checking that boxes okay so let me enhance this first so you can see it so this is the equation which you got okay so here you can see this function is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c okay so the equation is in the function of y is equal to mx plus c right and the R square is 0 0.9. So, this is close to 1. Okay. So, the R square value should always be close to 1. Close to 1 means your experiment has been uh, carried out in a well manner. Okay. So, the R square should always, the R square value should always be close to 1. So, here it is 0 0.9. That means it is in good data. Okay. So, now coming to this y is equal to mx plus c here y is equal to 50 okay only the y so y is equal to 50 why why is 50 because we are finding the ic50 values okay so to for ic50 values y becomes 50 for ic90 value uh, y becomes 90 okay so y is 50 what is m here m is 0 
three six eight eight. Right from this equation that is put on the graph. And what is C? C is four point nine four nine three. Right. So this is the values of the equation. Now what is X? X is our IC fifty. Okay. So we need to find the X. And X is our IC fifty. So what we do? Here we find the IC fifty, we put equal to so from this equation you can find that x is equal to so I'm putting this equal to here this equal to y minus c divided by m right from this equation you can find that it is y minus c divided by m okay so we'll find the ic50 so equal to we'll put y select the y value minus c bracket close divided by m so this is the ic50 value okay so the x value is 122.2 Okay, so the concentration was in mg per ml. So we can say that the IC50 of drug A drug A is equal to how much? 122.2 mg per ml. Okay, so this is what we get. Clear? So this is the IC50 of drug A, which is 122.2 mg per ml. Now, suppose we need to find the IC90. Now we want to find the IC90. So what we do? The same thing we need here. So here the y becomes 90, m remains the same 0 0.3688 and the c remains the same 4.9493, okay. So again we find the x value which is now IC90, right? So this IC90 is the same like Y minus C divided by M. Okay. As same as IC50. Okay. So Y minus C divided by M. So X is equal to IC90 becomes Y minus C. Okay. You need to put the bracket, otherwise the values will get disrupted. Okay, so y minus c divided by this m. Enter. Okay, so this is what we got as IC90. So we can write that IC90 of drug A is equal to 230. 0.6 mg per ml okay so this is how we find ic50 and ic90 values okay so similarly if we find for drug b we will do the same thing okay so we'll do it quickly so first select this column of concentration and percentage cell inhibition go to insert select the scatter plot okay now go to the add chart elements go to thread line more options now here go to the display equation on chart display r squared value on chart 
also the equation has been put up on the chart let me enhance it okay so this is what we got okay so here the same thing here we will get this y is equal to mx plus c okay so this is the function y is equal to mx plus c okay so here again y y is 50 m is 0 0.3094 and C is 24.605. Okay. So we know our X is IC50. So we will find the X directly. That is from the formula Y minus C divided by M. Okay. So this is our IC50 value. So here we can write. Let me write it here. Okay. So here we can write that I see 50 of drug B is equal to 82.08 mg per ml. Okay. So this is the IC50 value. Next coming to the IC90. So what we do? All the things are same. Let me copy paste it here. Only the y value get changes. That is, it becomes 90 in case of IC90. Right. So we'll find the x. That is IC90. So we'll find the x here directly. The same. Y minus. We'll put on the bracket first y minus c divided by m okay so this is the ic90 value so here we can write that ic90 of drug b is equal to 211.4 mg per ml okay so this is how we find the IC50 and IC90 values from percentage cell inhibition. Okay. I am highlighting this IC50 and IC90 values. Okay. So this is how you calculate the IC50 and IC90 values using the excel sheet hope you all got this hope your confusions are clear if you have any queries regarding this please feel free to comment thanks for watching